This week on The Wire, prices unlikely to fall significantly, requests to defer repayments easing, and Australia to lead the global recovery. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So let's get into our top story for this week. Prices unlikely to fall significantly. So repayment holidays offered by lenders, a strong banking system, and the temporary nature of the COVID-19 virus means house prices are unlikely to suffer any significant falls. And that comes from a wide range of industry experts. As an example, CoreLogic head of research, Tim Lawless says, while property transactions would stall for some months, prices were likely to be more insulated. Lawless says 2020 might even be a good time to buy property. Also, realestate.com.au Chief Economist Nerida Connorsby says property markets are diverse and some commentator forecasting a 30% decline just doesn't mean anything. She also says it's not, our it's not a financial crisis, I should say, sorry, and our banking system is still solid. We would be in a different position if we didn't have a strong financial system and things like mortgage repayment freezes. Property investor and university lecturer Peter Coolazus says we have six month mortgage holidays. Unlike the 1990s, interest rates are at two or three percent, not at 15 or 16 percent. The governments and banks have provided significant support to the market and the underlying demand and the undersupply of new dwellings which had been building over the past 12 months remains, although in a holding pattern. And now for our next story, request to defer repayments easing. So Commonwealth Bank of Australia Chief Executive Matt Common says num the number of customers requesting home loan relief packages is starting to level out, and there are similar reports coming from NAB. Common, who is also the chairman of the Australian Banking Association, said, while we continue to receive uh, ongoing and significant demand, we are beginning to see the initial signs of a levelling out of requests for help, and that's after the huge spike in the past few weeks. That suggests that the different measures put in place by the federal and state governments and by the banking industry as a whole are helping to flatten the curve of demand for such assistance. Now, the slowing demand for help comes as NAB and Bank of Queensland say they will allow clients to extend their interest-only periods. ANZ Bank, Commonwealth Bank and Westpac are also allowing interest-only payments to defer the repayments for up to six months, an option available to all home loan clients. And now, guys, for our final story of the week. So Australia to lead global recovery. So the Australian economy is in a strong position for recovery thanks to the stimulus packages recently implemented by the federal government. Now experts predict that an upturn in property markets will mark the turning point for our economy and financial markets. Now a report by PRD Nationwide looked at all G20 nations and their packages designed to bolster economies and jobs. Per capita, Australia ranks second behind Germany as being the best placed nation to ride out the economic downturn, while as a percentage of GDP, it ranked third, surpassed only by Germany and Japan. Now, Simon Presley, the head of buying agency Propertyology, says a strong property market will again lead Australia out of the latest coronavirus health crisis, potentially starting as soon as six months' time. He says that because credit policies in Australia were so tight, the quality of loans approved in the past few years was exceptionally high and this will greatly minimise the need for distressed residential property sales, he says. Well guys, they're the top stories this week. Now, please remember to like, comment, and share this video, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned for early next week for our Just Ask Tim video series, and if you wanna submit a question or there is a topic that you would like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that as well. Apart from that, guys, have a great week. And remember, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Have a great day, guys. See ya.